Okay, we're going to look at an example of a quadratic application, and you can't necessarily tell that it's a quadratic situation yet, but let's read it and see what happens um, and how it converts into a quadratic. So we have a product of two consecutive, consecutive positive odd integers and is 195. So let's talk about what that means. Consecutive. Consecutive means, you know, one after the other. Two, three, four are consecutive numbers. They occur one right after the other. Positive numbers are greater than zero. Odd, you know, three, five, seven, things like that. Odd integers. Um, and we want the product of two. So, you know, we have two unknown consecutive positive odd integers that we have to deal with. <clears throat> So the first we'll call x. x will be the first integer, the first one of these two integers. And then um, how do we determine the second? Well, I want to mention that, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, uh, so let's find an expression for the next odd integer. But when you're dealing with odd integers, you know, 3, 5, 7, 9, the difference between each one of them is two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. You know, so the difference between every odd integer is two. So if x represents the first integer, then to get to the next odd integer, I would say x plus two. So now I have my two um, integers represented in variable form, and I want their, um, I want their product. Right, so I have x for the first integer, and x plus 2 is the next odd integer. Okay, so their product is x times x plus 2. And the product of these two odd integers is 195. And so we set up an equation for this situation, right? Oops. All right, so how do we solve the equation? So we're going to simplify. Um, you know, we have... A product of x and x plus 2 so we're gonna have to distribute the x to simplify the left hand side and when we do that we're gonna get x squared plus 2x is equal to 195 so I have a quadratic equation that popped up I have the squared term the linear term the constant term so it's in standard form and so um, to do to simplify we set it equal to 0 so I'm going to subtract 195 from both sides to set it equal to 0 put it in standard form you guys, you know, whatever method you want to use, if you use completing the square or quadratic formula or if you want to factor it, whatever method you use, you know, typically initially you want to set it equal to zero and go from there. I'm going to go into factoring because that's the easiest method um, for me. If it's not factorable, I use the quadratic formula. I don't necessarily use completing the square. But if you choose to use that, that's fine as long as you get the same answer. So x squared plus 2x minus 195 is equal to 0. So I need to figure out if I'm going to factor this. I'm going to get my calculator because I'm going to play with some numbers. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I need to figure out, um, this is obviously going to be x and x, two numbers that multiply to give me negative 195 <coughs> that add to give me positive 2. So I'm going to try 195 divided by 15. Oh, and I got and I worked. The reason that I chose 15 was because I, I know that 195 is divisible by 5 because it ends in 5. But if I divide that by 5, I knew that the difference between the two numbers was going to be too large. So I chose to divide 195 by a you know multiple of 5, which was 15. And 15 and 13 work. So if I make this a positive 15 and a negative 13, then I satisfy the situation. I get that 2. So now I have a product of two um, expressions equal to 0, and this is where the zero product property comes into play. So I set each one of these equal to 0, um, and then solve for each one of these little equations. So I get x is negative 15, or x is positive 13. So it makes sense that I would get two solutions for a quadratic, but... These x's represent situations, um, you know, from the initial problem, which may or may not satisfy that initial problem. So I have to go back up and see, you know, what makes sense. 
So I wanted, <clears throat> you know, two positive odd integers um, and their product. And if you notice that negative 15 is negative. So that one is out. That is not a positive odd integer. But 13, 13 works. So 13 is my first positive odd integer. That's my x. And to get to the next one, I'm just going to add um, 2. And I get 15. And my 2 consecutive positive odd integers that multiply to give me 195 is equal to or is 13 and 15.